qui mon ka sponsor next when you sleep with the e quick you want to cheat chick better go down and freak me you got to hit me off my this girl gifts of course so i've been sick in my sex with my kids in the door i know you see me on the video true i know you heard me on the radio true but Right now, I'm about to pluck this wig. It's giving Johnny Bravo right now. As y'all can see, it's giving Haitian wig hairline. So I'm gonna try my best to pluck it. I don't really know what's going about to happen because I have been over plucking wigs like crazy, girl. So I do be getting a little carried away. So today I think I'm gonna take it a little easy, but I'm about to pluck this wig real quick, blow dry it, um, flat iron it. And then I will come back and install it for you guys. I know that you guys see that almost every video is damn near sponsored now. But um, I appreciate you guys so much for always showing me love and support. I would not be able to get half of these opportunities that I've been getting recently without you guys. And I promise you guys in about 30 days, you guys are going to get like a different level of content. Like mature content. This look like Johnny Bravo, child. <laughs> Don't it? Let's see what I could do, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of this vlog. Let me know.
y'all, I'm about to go to, what the fuck is it called? It's a Dollar General or it's a Dollar Tree. I don't know. I'm about to go to Dollar, one of the Dollar stores and I cannot go dressed like, ooh. If y'all see my bed, my bed is a mess because I got so much stuff going on. So much wigs. I had to just bleach today. I had so much shit to do today. But the outfit I got on right now. Child. I cannot wear this to Dollar General. Y'all see me? Cannot wear that. So I'm gonna throw on some bullshit real quick because I really just need to get some shampoo because I need to hurry up and get back to what I gotta do. I gotta hurry up, get back. I'm not gonna film the rest of what I'm about to do, but um I gotta take these braids out. So I had to film, as you guys seen in the previous part, I had to film this, but if you guys don't know my African the African braids that I got. It's still under this wig so if this wig looks a little hatty that's why because i have braids cornrows under but it does have um, braiding hair with it so it's just real bulky so i do i'm gonna come and take um i can't talk because i'm in a rush um, i'm gonna come back home take these braids out wash my hair but i'm running out of conditioner i don't know why i go through conditioner so fast but i'm running out of conditioner um wash my hair then i have to film another video and then I have to wash my uniform because I got PT tomorrow. So I'm trying to hurry up. Well, PT and work tomorrow. Um, what's this address? I can put this dress on. What is from Rainbow? Fashion oversized medium. Yeah, my neck hurts so bad. You know them Africans? This ain't even like no trying to be like racist or anything. Like Africans literally braid your edges, the back of your head, neck. Like the back of my neck is killing me. I'm going to just throw some Crocs on. Ooh, my bed look a mess, y'all. I swear it's all stuff I gotta film, so please don't come for me. I got my Dossier perfume. I have so many perfumes. Let me show y'all real quick. <laughs> I got all these little perfumes. Some of them, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this, but some of them are from Rainbow. I got my YSL Black Opium. This is from Rainbow. This is my dossier, of course. Y'all know I gotta have that heel. My, what's this? What is this? This is the Giorgio Armani C High Intensity. I also still have my Chanel Gabrielle. I did purchase this from when I went to Vegas. And then I still love this. I don't know, I seen this at Ross. So I thought they stopped selling this, but this is the Rihanna perfume. I love it. But let me hurry up, child. Parce que je l'ai passé là, il n'y a pas de pour faire ça, je n'ai besoin. Should I put this on? Child, I look correct. I don't care. Who cares, girl? Phone, mask. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. So I did get my... Where's my phone? Oh, yeah. I did get my second COVID shot. Hold on, let me... I'm going to vlog when I'm in the... What? Y'all, this Dollar General is packed today, y'all. Ask me why. So my homegirl called me, but um, I was actually on the phone. Oh, so she FaceTimed me. So I'm going to call her as back. Actually, I'm actually going to call her back later because I don't want her to vent. Basically, she wants to vent about work. And um, it's army stuff, so I don't really want you guys to hear it. Because I don't know, you know, who knows who or whatever. But, um... Yeah, like I was saying, I got the COVID shot. Lock my damn door, man. Colleen, y'all, the area I live in is dangerous. And people be saying, like, oh, you know, every base got its own um, situations and stuff. Okay, but Fort Hood is too dangerous. Like, Fort Hood is not your normal army base dangerous. Fort Hood is dangerous as fuck. Um, so I did get the COVID, the, like I was saying earlier, I'm sorry. I forgot my mask. Shit. I did get my second COVID shot and all it really does is make me um is make me fucking tired. So I literally every time I get the shot, I like pass out. Like I just be so fucking tired. I'm just gonna go in here with my backpack like a child. It is back to school. So hopefully if I look like a child, maybe no one will look at my booty or try to talk to me. And I like that. Um I'm gonna be honest. The attention is actually very fucking annoying. Um, yeah. But hey, who told me to go do that? Who told you to go do that shit, Jasmine? Your damn self? You want to be fresh? What did you expect was going to happen? 
I can see like how women do it for attention, but I didn't do it for attention and the attention is actually very annoying and it's low key disrespectful, kind of, yeah. But um, Texas is so hot, so it's like it's not like you could be out here in jeans and a damn jeans and a whatchamacallit all day. I don't have no mask, even though I'm vaccinated. I still want to wear a mask. Um, I will be in New York in October for my mom's birthday. Um, I did just buy the plane ticket today. And next week is Marley's wedding. So the next vlog you got you guys will see will be Marley's wedding. Yeah. So this hair is from Amanda Hair. And one thing I will say, the hair is so soft. I just could not get the baby hair right. So that's why I don't have a baby hair. If my head is looking a little extra large-ish today. I don't have no baby hair because it, I was struggling, child. But yeah, so thank you to Amanda here for sponsoring today's video. Merci beaucoup, Amanda's hair. Who's next? Who's gonna sponsor next? Kimunka sponsor next. All right, let me hurry up and go in here because I really need to get this shit and go make sure I got my debit card because that would be embarrassing. Who wears a backpack? I'm too old for this. Debit card, ID. Oh. All right, come on. I'm actually happy that we now have a Dollar Tree, Dollar General, same shit, in our neighborhood. Because we needed it, bitch. We needed it. And I do need to get some gas. Let me put you guys on this tripod. I, let me tell y'all, this Sony tripod right here was a waste of money. It is not worth $150. Like, this shit barely fucking works. So... Let's go. Yeah, so. I thought I was going to vlog, but I didn't vlog because it was crowded in there. So. Let me show y'all what I got real quick. Damn. That's how low we go. Alright. I don't really eat chips. But I love these chips. I got the blue one, the Cool Ranch. And then I also got... I don't know if I told you I got my windows tinted. Like, Texas Limit tinted. I do want them darker. I never really saw the purpose of tints. But people used to be like, oh my god, you got a fishbowl. And I'm like, I don't care. I look cute. I want people to see me. <sighs> anyway, so I got these two. But now that I have tint, I'm like, damn, I wish it was darker. Like, I don't want nobody to know I'm in this bitch. Y'all, I used to really love these before I joined the army. I used to smash these holes. And I I never seen them. I haven't seen these in years, but then I seen them. So these are what they look like. They're pizza rolls. I know so unhealthy. I know y'all, but I love these. I got three of those. I got a new collar for um Louis. I got a size medium. Hopefully this fits him. Blue. Got a new collar for Louis. I did get some fruit snacks. Um go home and film lock that door bitches be on YouTube well with that door unlocked I got me I got to be because I did run out or I think I left it in Houston I don't know but I lost it left it someone stole it who knows and then I got a Cream of Nature Pure Honey Breakup Breakage Leave-In Conditioner for Dry Damaged Hair. Y'all, so under this wig is my African braids, like I told you guys a little bit earlier. The bad part is, instead of me taking off the braids, because I need someone to braid my hair, y'all notice already I can't find nobody. Instead of me braiding my hair, I mean, instead of me taking off the braids, I left the braids in and I just cut it where I think my hair grows. Y'all, why I cut the hell out of my hair? My middle braid, in the my middle braid, I cut it too short. So now my hair looks, I don't even want to take out the braids. I know it's going to look crazy. But anyways, regardless, whatever, because I want to cut my hair off anyway again. But yeah, this is leave-in conditioner. I never used this before. Comment down below if you guys have used this. If you guys, do you guys like Cream of Nature? Every time that I like a brand, I hear bad stuff. I used to like, um, not Cantu. What's the blue blue company everybody said gave people was giving people uh cancer? 
it's blue. I don't remember what it's called. It's like green and white. No, it's green and white. Cur curl something. I don't fucking know. Um, but that, do y'all like Cream of Nature? I'm about to use this, so hopefully it. Oh, it smells so good. Pure honey. It smells really good. So I got the leave-in conditioner because I don't even have conditioner. Oh, I didn't even know that I got honey too. And then I got the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo. Um, honey. So I didn't even know I got two honeys. I got shampoo. Fucking dummy. Nope. I'm about to go inside and ask, can I change it out? Damn. Thank God. I... Yeah, I need conditioner and I got shampoo. But the lady in there that checked me out is so nice. There was no price difference, so I literally just grabbed um, the conditioner. Thank God, because I would have been so mad if I would have got shampoo. Y'all, I have enough shampoo at the crib. So, yeah, I got the Garnier Whole Blends Illuminating Conditioner. I need to hurry up because it is already 624. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them know I eat side cover and they wear them super good stuff. Mm -hmm. Lotion. All clean, Honda. Honda, get me a girl number, number. Honda, Honda, get me a girl number, number. Mama, tell them about the Honda. Honda. Yeah, welcome back to the vlog. So, right now I'm waiting for my meal prep to finish. I just threw it in the microwave. There we go. Um, I just filmed a video on this hair. Y'all, if y'all want all the details, then I'll leave the video down below. But child, I did not think that this wig was going to come out this nice with this beautiful ass texture. But yeah, so right now I'm about to take some more Instagram pics. Every time that I film now, I want to take... Hold on. Yeah, every time that I film now, I want to take Instagram pictures. So I can have nice thumbnails or like good quality thumbnails to go with it. Today I am eating. Um, I don't know. You know, everybody's microwave is different. So it's like, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Ooh, this is what I'm eating today for lunch. I haven't ate yet. So that'll be my first meal. I woke up and I was just like, you know what? I got this wig. This, this company keep emailing me. Let me knock out all the sponsor stuff that I have to do now before I move. Because, bitch, once I move, it's a fresh slate. Um, Yo, y'all. So, I am... I just want to tell y'all. So, I think I might do a video on, like, you know, like, the ins and outs of, like, sponsorships and, like, stuff. Or people trying to send you stuff or being a brand ambassador and stuff. Because here's the tea, bitch. I don't do nothing for free. And it's like this whole debate on the internet about like tagging and why y'all don't why people don't tag their hairstylists or etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Girl, I understand support black businesses. That's why I'm paying for your service or your product. But damn shorty, I got bills too. Like what the fuck? I'm about to have grown woman bills. Like not rent, bitch. Mortgage. So yeah, I got bills too. Like what the fuck? It's like that debate. I get it, but like, still, like, nigga, I mean, excuse me, my language. What about me? You think I'm finna be free, 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 free? No. So with that being said, this company, I do take some things for free. I do promote some things for free depending on how bad I want the product, like, the fuck? So there's a product that I do want that a company reached out to me to do a review video on. And it also depends on how much the product is worth. So I'm just going to give you all this free tea. Um, I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is because you guys will see the video and be like, What the fuck? That was that's a random ass review, you know what I'm saying? If y'all see that video, you know what I'm saying? Show some love. But, um, when they contacted me, I was like, Hell yeah! But then, yeah, yeah, so it just really depends on what the product is. If I want that product, I will do the video for free or I'll do the mention for free, I don't care, but yeah, so let me make sure all my items are hot on this because sometimes i'll be putting in the microwave and that bitch the bottle be coming out cold so another thing um so this mattress company 
No. This mattress company had reached out to me like fuck when I was in Germany and then I kind of didn't write back because I don't have a house. So what the fuck am I gonna put your mattress at? You know what I mean? And I would have put it in the barracks, but um my first sergeant at the time was like, you can't move nothing out of the room. Everything that is assigned in the room, you must keep in the room. And I'm like, damn, like way to kill morale. Um, so I am, I still got them in my email, so I'm gonna hit them back. So hopefully I might get a free mattress for my crib. And if anything, if, if I do end up just buying a mattress, cause I gotta buy a king size mattress. So you know what? I kind of do want that mattress for free because um, the mattress that I want is like 700, which is, which is not bad, but I'd rather have a, free mattress or if anything if i do gotta buy that mattress at least the mattress they'll send me which is probably gonna i'm gonna ask for a queen is gonna be for my guest bedroom so regardless your girl's getting a free mattress so youtube does have does have its perks um yeah it does it definitely does so i'm gonna eat my lunch and then i gotta go to the bathroom in the bathroom and take pictures and stuff um a couple pictures and then i have to go through all my memory cards y'all to find footage the footage of me bleaching the knots on this like oh my god bro i'm about to just once i open the wig and do everything i'm gonna just film the video same day because this such i have like 100 memory cards so i have to search through like 100 memory, memory cards just to find the footage of me bleaching the oh lord and then last night I filmed a purse collection video and I have to refilm it because my memory card is acting up in my computer. So y'all, it's just a lot. And this is my whole weekend. Like I already, we have five o'clock formation all morning, all week. And then um, instead of me enjoying my weekend, trying to get some sleep, I'm working. So, I mean, I ain't complaining though. Trust and believe this nice wig plus that, plus that rate. Come on, that fee. Nah, I ain't complaining, sweetheart. I'm just saying, but I ain't complaining. Hallelujah. Blessed. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go outside and take pictures, but I don't have a tripod stand tall enough. And I like to use my iPhone to take my Instagram pictures and stuff. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I could use my Alpha 6400, but I ain't too good on the settings when it comes to photography. I'm more like videography more than photography, but whatever, child. My God, this motherfucker needs some sauce or something. Like, girl, this shit dry. Let me see. I'm gonna eat it though. I'm gonna eat it. If I am. And yes, I will. Actually, yeah, let me eat it first before I go film, finish filming. Let me get my phone. Y'all over here trying to take selfies and shit. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat, do a little mukbangi. Ciao. Mm. I wanna tell y'all this shit so bad, some shit that happened, but I'm gonna tell y'all later. I'm going to tell you on a different vlog, but next week we got something called People First Week. Um, so People First is like this thing that they created after the, after the Vanessa Gillian situation, after um, Fort Hood had been going through all that shit. You know, they name got <laughs> like drugged through the mud. So they created People First. So basically, let me tell you what the dilemma is or what the thing is. So, mm, this is good part. So, when, you know what I'm saying, Vanessa again was brutally murdered, I guess the whole internet was on an uproar because they're like, how, how do y'all not know that soldiers are missing? Like, that's what the issue was. They're like, damn, like, then you know they did a um independent review on for hood if y'all don't know what that is they did like a kind of like an investigation and they was ba they basically found out that soldiers don't trust their leadership to go to them for sexual harassment or sexual assault which i do agree on well i was like that my first duty station i didn't like my nco he was garbage so 
I knew, like, boy, I, if God forbid something happened to me, I told him, like, if I ever get raped or something, I will not go to you because I don't like you. I don't trust you. And I just said that shit straight up the way it was the truth. So now, I guess, for Hood is, like, realizing, like, okay, you know what? Like, we messed up. Well, not for Hood, but the whole army is realizing, like, okay, we messed up. How can we accept the responsibility and, you know, put forth change? So that's, I guess, I think, my opinion, I don't know why they created people first, but I think that's why they created people first. Um, I guess, like, get to know your soldiers better and, God forbid, something happens. Do their parents know your name? Like, et cetera. Like, do, do, does their family and their, like, people next to kin, whatever, know you? Like, y'all should be on that relationship. Like, people are trusting, families are trusting you with their soldiers, et cetera. So, next week, mm. Let me look at my ginger ale. Oh, fuck. Y'all, Tasia loves um the bold ginger ale. I'm like, girl. I like ginger ale, but shit. So, next week, I guess it's like a whole team building week. Um, I'm going to be doing paintball. Um, obstacle courses, like team building stuff. So, I'm more than likely, because my name is not only on any of the teams, so I'm more than likely going to go to um, take pictures and videos and stuff. The only thing that I don't like about people first is it seems kind of forced. Like, it seems very forced. I'm not going to lie. It seems like... It seems forced. Like, it seems not authentic. But, I mean, I guess it, it really does depend on who it's... It does depend because I do, right now, have good leadership. I have the Colonel, amazing. Sergeant Major, amazing. Like, I have good higher leadership right now. And I also have good... I'm not going to say I have good lower leadership, but I have, I have my motor sign. I really love him because he's just a good NCO, so.
with Tori to get Louis. I kind of want to get that hot dog or the banana. Oh, buy one, get the. Nah, I ain't finna get me. No, that's too hard for his teeth. Feel it. Feel that thing. Toys for destroyers. I think all these would be hard, but um, they do be biting on plastic. Toys for cuddlers. Oh, yeah, he. he you don't consider him a cuddler? No, I don't know. Sorry. It's alright. He said a couple months. So I'll just get this one and then the next time. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. This is the brand that I get for him. Y'all see it? Is it focused? Yeah. <laughs> Louie. 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 Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> that girl ain't talking to them. What the hell they thought this was? Louis, come here. Ah. Come here. You wanna tell them how you had a good day? Y'all, while Louis was in the run, he ain't even fall out. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I got braids. I don't know if I showed you. Wow, my head looks gigantic, but I got braids. The ends look crazy because I went to African spot. Let me tell y'all. Let me vent. So I went to an African um, hair braiding spot because everywhere else I was trying to find, everybody was busy. People out here be booked for months. And I know for a fact that when they say they book for months, I know they're not booked for months because no, it's not like every day somebody in clean is getting their hair braided. Like, that's not true. But whatever. So I went to the African spot and they gave me some braids. And I'm very upset with myself because I gained two pounds. I went on the scale. I was like, whoa. I gained two pounds, so I got to get myself back right. I have been slacking this week. But um, I'm going to get myself back right. What else happened this week? So I have to... Oh, my God. After work, I have to film this sponsored... Some sponsored um, content. I got to get, like, some, some content. Whoa. I explain it i gotta get like this certain part filmed for this product and it the crazy thing is i really like the product and it's just so crazy like i'm just so happy that i was able to get it for free because i really like the product like it's fire it's actually really fire um i went to home goods for the first time in my life i've never been to home goods before um we don't have one here in clean we got one in austin and i saw it because i had one to Ulta because let me tell y'all Y'all, my eyebrows look like shit. I had to fill in my eyebrows. Y'all know I got my eyebrows microbladed, right? I paid four hundred dollars to get my eyebrows microbladed, and apparently it's like a tattoo where it peels or whatever, whatever. Obviously, I have like a, damn near a hundred tattoos, so I know how to take care of tattoos. So my this eyebrow healed fine, but then this eyebrow literally like turned gray. It turned gray, and then, like, everything that she did on my eyebrows literally went away. You feel me? So, basically, I wasted $400. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I feel like I wasted my money. Like, I wasted $400 because my eyebrows literally look... They look worse than they did before I got them microbladed because some of it is dark, and then the rest is, like, gray. So, it looks worse than how my eyebrows look before. So, whatever. So, I went to Ulta to get some... Um, eyebrow filling like I, bought, I just tried the next one i don't like it but i used it this morning so i went to home goods and i told myself before i go into home goods i was like you know what don't go crazy because if y'all don't know i will be a homeowner in about 30 days um not gonna talk too much about it i've been waiting all right so if you guys don't know i'll just tell you guys so when i came here in december i was looking to purchase a home and I'm in a parking lot. Y'all know I be getting kind of distracted. So, I was looking to purchase a home. And everything that was already... I should have just told y'all this in a separate video. But everything that was already built was going fast. Like, I would find a house that I think is so beautiful, right? The next morning, it would be under contract. So, the next morning, the house would be gone. Like, someone already got the house. So, y'all remember, I came to Colleen in December. And then I left, went back to... Um, Germany to uh, 
like final out clear then i went into head spent 60 days i went to the dr like i did my own shit whatever so in december when i couldn't find a house you know tiasia i stayed with tiasia and she's also my realtor she was my friend before she was my realtor so i know you guys are gonna be like what the fuck she was my friend before she was my realtor when we first became friends i had no idea no i had no interest in buying a house so then when I was like, you know what, I want to buy a house. I'm like, who else would I go to but her? Like, she's like so professional, so kind, so caring. Like, she don't play. She's She don't she don't play about her job. So um, so then that happened. And she was like, why don't you do new construction? And I'm like, Tiasia, girl, I can't wait. Like, I can't sit here and wait so many months to build a house. I want to go in now. I'm not patient. Like, I just, I want my own spot. You guys know I've never lived alone. I've always lived in the barracks. I don't know what it feels like to live alone. I've never paid rent. I've never done any of this. So she was like, no, like do new construction. So then I'm going to tell you guys some stuff. I'm not going to tell you guys everything. So I'm like, all right, cool. So ironically, oh, I can't even say that part because then you guys, some whoever's watching this and lives in Colleen is going to know where I'm going to live at. And I don't want to say that. So ironically, she lives near where the house is being built. So boom, fast forward. I come here in. February I no whoa I left Germany in February I got here in about March April ish time frame so at first it was a little discouraging because I'm like dang like you go see the house and it's dirt like just a dirt block then they put the the what's it called I know I'm looking all big and stuff y'all but I'm not I swear to God. um they put the they poured the foundation then you're like wow like this is a decent sized house like whoa you you don't start to see how your house looks until um until they start putting stuff up then they do the framing then they do the sheetrock and there's, there's walls and after the walls there's um texture on the walls there's kitchen cabinets there's an island there's um the, the sinks go in the showers like the mirrors like i i go i okay i don't know how to explain it so i'm not i haven't been vlogging like i'll go check on the house but i don't vlog because i just don't want my business out there in a sense so I do have footage in my phone. So like if I do decide to do a sit down, um, um, like a VA loan type of video, if I, if I decide, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I have all the footage to show you guys the new construction, um, home buying process. But I was just saying all that to say this, the crib is almost done. I could cry. I could drop to my knees right now. I'm so excited for this new thing in my life like it's crazy but yeah so i just want to tell you guys that like stop playing with me like 30 days ba basically in 30 days you know what i mean you guys y'all can look forward to the, the moving vlog um pantry organization kitchen organizations um me building my makeup room me building my office because i want to let y'all know it's a four bedroom house okay so one house up uh, one house for me the, um, I didn't say I didn't mean to say for me y'all my fault one room is gonna be one room is the master bedroom the other room is the makeup room slash filming YouTube room and then the third room is an office and then the last one will be like a guest bedroom or something so I know you guys are probably wondering girl how many bedrooms it's a full bedroom two bathroom house it is a single story because obviously you guys know I don't have children so what the fuck am I gonna be buying a big ass house for but when I do you know start my family then I might go ahead and um upgrade i don't know not right now i'm not thinking about that because i don't even think i want kids um that's really it so your girl is very excited i didn't want to tell you guys too soon like i would throw little hints or little posts to like encourage you guys but i didn't want to go and tell you guys everything yet because i don't really want to say anything until i finish like i get the keys in my hand so that's that and i'm just very excited so i have been so addicted to I'm um, watching people shop at home goods at home all these stores that I've never seen in New York which is crazy so home goods at home I've been going to at home rooms to go okay so let's talk about it since we're just gonna let's just talk about it fuck it so rooms to go has the couch that I want it has a Bluetooth speaker in it and USB and it's great but the thing about that couch um, it's very modern like I want to walk into a house and feel get and i wanted to give me comfortable vibes like 
I could sit in this couch and just melt. Like, I want to relax. You know what I mean? So, the couch is from Rooms to Go. I didn't get it yet. It's the one that I want. The size is good. The price is good. Like, it's just, it's, it's a nice-ass couch. I haven't seen anything better than that. The dining room set that I want is from Rooms to Go as well. It's about 9 The couch is about $1,500. That was a sale, though. So, it might be 16 or 17 maybe 1800 whatever. Um, What else? The dining room set I want, it is white, y'all. I got white seats. It's white. And then it has like this, oh, I can't tell you guys. You guys have to wait for that. That's about 800 My mom said she would buy it for me, but I'm like, okay, mom, thanks. So she said she's going to buy me that. Um, What else I got to get? That's really it. I got my bed. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys. I'll insert a picture on the side here. I did purchase my bed. Y'all remember about um, ooh, a couple months ago, I posted the bed on the YouTube. Because, you know, there's a part of YouTube where you can post posts. Um, I posted the bed. A lot of you guys were like, no, don't get it, don't get it. And that bed cost, I wanted a queen size, and that was about $1,300. That bed was $1,300 on Wayfair. So, I found the bed. I found, okay, so the queen, I wanted the baby pink one, the queen size, and it was about $1,300, $1,400. I found a king size, the same bed, in white. A king size in white. For seven hundred dollars, and I bought it. So I do have it. I didn't just buy it online. It got scammed or anything. I do have the bed in my possession. Um, it's huge. It's beautiful. It's white, but it has like a pearl. It kind of looks pearl. It just, it's just so gorgeous. Like I'm very excited. And then my mattress, like I was telling you guys, um, that is sponsored. So I will be getting a free mattress. I saved a thousand dollars. Thank you, God. Like, that's what sometimes I be trying to tell y'all. Like, y'all be trying to start YouTube and stop. Like, keep going. Like, keep going. Don't give up because I've been doing it for so long. And even though I feel like I'm not where I need to be or want to be, I'm still getting opportunities that are, you know, I'm just so grateful. So, the bed, the mattress is free. So, I'm just, I got like a whole list of stuff that I want and stuff that I have to get for the house. And everything is just working out smooth. So, I hope the mattress sponsorship goes well. So they could send me another one for the guest room so y'all could come over. So when I do my mattress sponsorship, I'm going to let y'all know. And I need y'all to run up the comments, run up the likes. You know, do what y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. Do that so I can get me a free queen size. And then y'all can come over and come sleep with me. Okay? Yeah, so that's that. I've been talking for fucking forever. So I'm going to let y'all go. Um, but yeah, from Home Goods, I got this... Um, no, this is from Ross. I got this from Ross. Well, someone bought it for me. This is like a little camera. The person said they saw this and thought of me. It was $8. It's just a silver camera. Just a decorative piece. So cute. It's so crazy because... Let me show you what I got from Home Goods. So, what I got from Home Goods was this, this peace sign. Um... Because y'all don't know, but I always do this. Like, if y'all look at my pictures on Instagram, I love doing a peace sign. So then someone saw this and thought of me too. So I've just been getting little home decor gifts from people, and I just really appreciate it. And it just makes me want to cry so much. Um, Yeah, it just makes me want to cry so bad. So I am going to make a housewarming list or a house registry list, whatever it's called. And I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to get anything from me, a fork. A fucking uh, pantry organization, whatever. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to send me housewarming gifts so I can do a video. Period. But I do appreciate it though. Like, there's like a couple of my subbies that's like a little older, and they like they give me like mom vibes. Like they want to be my mama type shit. Like in a good way, not in a bad way. Just like a you know a mom vibe. And um, they told me they wanted to get me gifts, but I, I found this peace sign, and someone bought it for me. Peace. This is so me. Like, if y'all hang out with me every day, y'all would know this is so me. And this was $12.99. So I got those two pieces for my makeup room. My makeup room, I do have my vanity already. It's in Tiasha's, um garage. So it's black. It is the Impressions Vanity Slay Station 2.0. Um, if you don't know, just Google that. Why are people want to pull up? Just Google that. Y'all will see it. And then lastly... I got a, um, actually no, I got this lunchbox, it's from Betsy Johnson, y'all know I do my meal prep, well I don't do it, but I buy it, I know I buy meal prep, so that's for my lunchbox, 
Got me a lunchbox. It was so pretty. And then lastly, like I was like, oh, bitch. Oh, shit. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Y'all alive? All right, good. I got me a little backpack. As I see my homegirl with a backpack, my homegirl, she on crutches right now. Her name is Graves. She don't watch me, so I don't think she's watching this right now. But, um, y'all know I gotta have my dossier perfume in my purse. Y'all be thinking it's cap. It's not cap, and I'm almost done, too. Look. She smell. So, this is my favorite scent from this. This is the... I can't talk. This is the Floriental Brown Sugar. You know why I like this? Because it smells like a cheaper version of the, um... My YSL Black Opium that I ain't buying again. That shit was expensive. That shit was one twenty, and I could buy it, but your girl about to have a mortgage. Okay, this ain't no motherfucking rent. No offense to those. This that mortgage. Okay, this that motherfucking bitch. You don't need to be wasting no money. You can spend it, but don't waste it. So, I see my homegirl with like this little black bag. And I was like, oh my god, bro. Like, I need one for work. So I got this little black bag for work. You see, I got it with me right now. Then they got the little pouch, like the, the Prada bag. What I got in the big box. I'm just going to show y'all right here. So I'm just going to show y'all what I got in here before I end the vlog. So I got my planner. I got this planner, y'all. I got this planner. It says, I am busy. I got this from Walmart for like $2. So y'all need to run to Walmart and get it. It got like stickers and stuff on it. And I just got all my stuff planned out. I actually do use it though. It ain't no cap. I really do use it. I got that. I got my shit planned out week by week. And I have so many fucking intros to do, bro. As soon as I'm done with all these videos, that's it. I mean, these intros, that's it. See, so I plan out my week like this. And it actually is good. Today. Oh, I didn't plan out this week. Ah. Yeah, and I need to respond to. Um, some emails because I don't know why these people saying they want to send me clothes this company hit me up who is it lovely wholesale they're like uh, want to be Shein or whatever um they hit me up talking about some can I do a, a try on haul video for them for five hundred dollars I can do it shit maybe even more it's like no we're not looking to pay we are just doing we get we're, we're gifting clothes no and damn well I got enough clothes I'm not doing that I'm I have bills, miss. I have bills. But anywho, that is it for today's vlog. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Um, let me know if you guys want me to keep up these weekly vlogs. I'm really trying, y'all. Like, I really am. And I see y'all showing love. Y'all about to see... Y'all about to see way more hair sponsorships. Um, Just thumbs up the videos, guys. You know what I'm saying? Watch halfway if you want to. Just thumbs it up. Yeah, I do want to do a video and tell y'all all the tea about these these uh, sponsorships. Like, I don't know what's going on, but like my price is going up, and it's like people really are paying my price, and it just so it just it makes me want to cry because it's like how the fuck, like how like I can literally make. I'm gonna tell y'all this right now, I'm fighting this vlog because I'm gonna keep it stacked. Y'all know me, I like to keep it stacked. Thumbs up this video. I can make. I can make $10,000 a month if I wanted to. Not if I wanted to. If it had fucking time. No, you know what? If I knew how to braid, I could make $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month on social media. You hear me, y'all? I could make $10,000 a month on social media if I wanted to. If I had enough fucking time. I should have been serious in Germany, but now I'm in this unit and this every child, you barely got time to wash your ass up in here. Anyways, y'all, I love y'all and I will see y'all in my next video.